What I want to do in this video is go through, if I were a student in one of my classes, the pattern I would try to follow in order to most successfully complete my week responsibilities. Because, you know, online classes, some of you may be new <coughs> to uh, online classes, and it, they do take some getting used to as, as far as getting into the, the, the groove that fits uh, how you need to work to, to get the responsibilities done. So this is just kind of the best practices. If I were you in my class, here's the, the dance that I would try to do every week in order to most successfully get done what I needed to get done. There are some exceptions, like some weeks we'll have essays. And I don't really mention those on here because all of our essays should be uh, work that's done over several weeks. So if you've done what you need to do, you should never have a week uh, all by itself where you're trying trying to get an essay done. Uh, if that's the case, you, you've not managed your time appropriately. But uh, overall, this is the, the flow I'd try to follow from week to week uh, in order to do best in our class. So the first thing I'd do is log in and check what the news update is and what our responsibilities are for the week. Now, almost always, you'll be able to, on Saturday morning, 8 o'clock, uh, log in and check what we're doing for the week. You'll have the news update uh, giving the new week's content. Now, I don't expect you to set your alarm or anything like that. Um, but what I would do, even if you know you're not going to be able to do the work until later on in the week, that's fine. But I would early in the week, as early as possible, sometimes Saturday, really no later than Sunday, get on our D2L shell and just look at what what we're doing for the week. Uh, also, you'll find that there are going to be links in the news announcement, links that should take you to our homework, to our quizzes, to our discussion board. Uh, basically, you want to make sure that everything works. If we have PowerPoints, you want to make sure that those are working for you okay. Uh, that way you don't run into trouble later on. Let's say it's Thursday night, Friday, uh, and you have trouble downloading the PowerPoint. That's going to be late uh, enough to cause concern in trying to get the, the responsibilities done by Friday night, 11.59 p.m. So even if you're not going to work until later on in the week, make sure you can log in and just access all the information that you need to access, uh, download stuff, presentations, make sure they're working, even if you don't look at those presentations in detail until later. Uh, the second focus I would have would be uh, if we have a week that has grammar, any kind of a grammar focus, I would really start content-wise there. I'd start with grammar. Uh, if we do have a grammar quiz, you'll have grammar worksheets basically going over the concept uh, and giving you some practice. You'll be able to check your answers. Uh, <coughs> that way, before you take the grammar test, uh, the grammar test will always be over the grammar concept for that week. Uh, you'll be able to practice it. And if you find that in the practice you're not doing as well as you'd like to, you should have plenty of time to reach out to me. Uh, I've got some reinforcement I can give to you if you need it. Uh, but also you'll find that I've linked on our page uh, I've got a link to uh, the online writing lab. This is through Purdue University, and they have worksheets. They have extra enrichment activities for every grammar concept that we're covering this week, or uh, pardon, this semester. So if you uh, access your grammar worksheets early in the week and start there, uh, if you need reinforcement, you should have plenty of time to, to contact me or to check out the Purdue uh, writing lab uh, website to, to get some extra practice there before you take the quiz, the grammar quiz. That way you can make sure you're ready to do well on that grammar quiz and get full credit on it, okay? Um, so number four would be taking that grammar quiz when you feel confident that you're ready to master that grammar concept for the week. Number five would be the reading selections. If we have a week where we do have reading selections, and that will be most weeks, not every week, but most weeks we'll, we'll have stuff to read uh, and, and discuss and write about. Uh, I would definitely read uh, the material before you get on the discussion board, because most weeks our discussion board will be led uh, by the content, by the ideas in our reading selections, okay? So um, you'll find that this isn't something you don't want to be doing step number five on Wednesday or Thursday because 
what you'll find if on the discussion board, uh, if I have consistent, I guess I'd say tardy participation, if the class overall really isn't getting on that discussion board until like Wednesday or Thursday, I'll start griping about that. And if it gets severe enough to where uh, several weeks of participation on the discussion board are, are kind of late, uh, later in the week than I'd like, uh, then I'll, I'll move up. I'll bump up the deadline for our discussion board. So, uh, you know, get on there, uh, read the reading selections that we have for the week. And then once you've read those reading selections, you'll be ready to get on the discussion board and, and tell us your thoughts uh, about that week's reading selections, about ideas that we're discussing for the week. Uh, we may have some PowerPoints uh, that uh, you also, instead of reading something, you'll be viewing PowerPoints, uh, looking at embedded video content and stuff like that. So once you've uh, looked at the, the reading slash, um, I guess I could say PowerPoint material slash presentation material for the week, and you've got on the discussion board, you'll also be ready to do the week's homework. And um, the weeks that we have homework are on the coursework outline. Don't let it sneak up on you uh, because most homework assignments uh, may be multiple parts. Uh, there's going to be writing for you to do on that homework assignment. Basically, keep in mind the homework's not going to be something that you can just knock out in 20 minutes or so. Uh, you'll need to, uh, you may, in some homework assignments, you may want to plan on being able to find. Uh, a pause point and come back to it at a later date. So some homework assignments you may want to work on over time. Uh, and if that's the case, you should know uh, in step one, when you read the homework um, description, you should know if it's going to be kind of a doozy or not. And lastly, uh, with the time that you have left, once you've completed all your responsibilities for the, for the week, uh, you may want to look at the coursework outline which is on right now. It's on day one and it will stay on uh, throughout the semester. If I ever change the coursework outline, I will change it on our D2L shell as well. But I would pull up that coursework outline and see what we have going on the following week or the following weeks. Uh, that way there's no surprises. If there's an essay due date coming up, it will not sneak up on you. Uh, because that can sometimes happen, guys. I mean, the semester will get fast because you will be busy. You, pardon, you will be busy uh, in not just our class, but in all of your other classes as well. So anticipate what's coming at you next week. That way you can kind of prepare yourself over whatever time you have between finishing your week's uh, material and starting the next week's material. You may, be, you may even want to work ahead a little bit. And if you want to do that, uh, I, I welcome you to do so. So uh, this is not gospel. I mean, uh, and like I said, there may be some weeks where we have additional content that don't fit uh, kind of this description here. But overall, if I were a student in my class, here's what I'd try to do uh, in order to best succeed. So please let me know if you have questions. Thank you.